Hi everyone. This is a short video to show how the Follow Me feature works on the UCM series. Sometimes users could be outside or away from their workplaces and they need to be reached out to their cell phone or any other external number when receiving a call to their regular UCM extensions that for obvious reasons they cannot answer. This is where Follow Me becomes a useful tool or feature as it will allow to locate a user by ringing different extensions and external numbers in a predefined order. On this video, I will show you how to carry out the configuration of the Follow Me feature on the UCM. So let's start. In order to configure the Follow Me, we should get into the UCM web UI. Then go to extension trunk then extension, then locate on the list the extension you want to set up the follow me feature in. Click on edit and click on the follow me tab. For this demonstration we are going to configure the follow me on my test extension 4045. We can see here the follow me section and as first step let's enable the follow me for this extension. As of now, I'm going to explain what are all of these parameters for. Skip trunk authentication. If the outbound call needs to be checked the password, we should enable this option or enable the same option on the feature section. By enabling this option, we won't need to enter any password to make an ongoing call to a specific outbound route. This password is the one we set on the Advent Rules section and as long as there is not any password on the Advent Rules section currently, we can leave this checkbox unchecked. Then we have Confirm when answering. If enabled, the user will be asked by a voice print to press 1 to accept the call or press 2 to reject it. If it is disabled, the follow me call will be established right after the user answers the call. As you can see here, we can also set a music on hold that the caller will hear while the user is tracked. Use Callie DOD for follow me. This option will allow to use the DOD number as caller ID if this was previously configured on the trunk settings. This will work only when the follow me number is an external one. Enable destination. When we enable this option, we will have the possibility to set a destination if no one on the follow me ends up answering the call. The destination could be either from this drop down list, an extension, a voicemail, a queue, a ring group a voicemail group, an IVR, or even an external number. Then, in the follow me number section, we can add destination numbers to the list of numbers where the user will be reached out when no answer on his or her regular extension. We can add both local extensions and external numbers to the list. For this example, I will add a cell phone number for purposes of this test. On this another field, we can set the time that the follow me destination number will ring before the next number on the list starts ringing to reach the user out. For this other parameter, before having added the first number to the list, we will only have this option. Once having added the first number, we can decide then, if we want to have all the numbers ringing at once, or if we want to have a number ringing after the other. Well, now that we have added an external number to the list, we can proceed to perform a little test. But before that, let's save and the play changes. Now let's go to the Active Calls menu to monitor the calls and let's make a call to my test extension number where the follow me was configured. 
I dial 4045. And we can see here the call going to 4045. And now, because of there was no answer, we can see how the call is routed to the cell phone number previously configured on the follow me section for the extension for 045. And there you go, my cell phone is ringing now. I will answer the call to test. Hello? Yes, it is working as expected. I will finish the call. And well guys, this was a little demonstration of the follow me operation. And we can see how this feature will help to avoid missing any incoming calls while users are reached down different devices. And that's all for now. This was Kevin speaking. Have a good day. Bye.